And Scheman will kick off to SC. And Dion will just take a knee, and that's how we'll start this one at the 25-yard line. And for SC, boy, did he put up a ton of points in that quarterfinal. Yeah, he most certainly did. And, and the question now we'll have here in this game, Scheman runs a four-down line typically. Uh, so that doesn't bode well for the way that SC had success in the last game where he was going up against an opponent uh, in Poison that ran a three-down line. That allowed Mike Vick to get outside the pocket, stretch plays horizontally from sideline to sideline, allow routes to develop downfield. I want to watch how does that unfold in this game here. First and 10 for Michael Vick, who rolls to the right. And he's just going to take off and pick up five yards. And that's the thing you make him think about. Right at the gate, you can see. I mean, no containment off the edge. And you're already able to see Michael Vick being able to get big time yards right there off that edge, five yards in the scramble. And I love the gun snugs at this Arizona playbook. He showed us a ton of formations, which is not unlike the Cardinals. Second and five. Vic, play action. Great job picking up the blitz. Has time and threads the needle, but Hill can't hold on. That, that was a great play right there. He rolled out. He set his feet. He wanted to throw the ball, but the user defender underneath was there from scheming. He hesitated an extra second, delivered the ball in between two defenders, and unfortunately, he didn't catch the ball, but nice little uh, rollout play right there from SC. You know, the other thing Reese gives you, he's a great blocker, and he picked Let's up Clowney there, who had a block shed. Couldn't get past Reese. Third and five. Vic has time, throws it deep, but can't get over the hands of Sean Taylor, who knocks it away. Yeah, I like that choice. He had no short option underneath. He had the containment there. You can see there was no place for Vic to scramble outside. That's the formula. That's how you slow him down. You put quarterback contains on the outside. You have a mush rush with your defensive ends. They look to protect the scramble versus uh, going against the quarterback on a pass rush. He's going to go for it on fourth and five. Vic throws it up underneath. And Hill holds on to it, even with Sean Taylor and Lawrence Taylor all over him. Yeah, right there. He, again, threads the needle. We have to watch. Be very careful here if you're SC. He's throwing the ball in a lot of tight spaces right here. In between two defenders, Lawrence Taylor gets his paws on him. But he ultimately gets the first down. It was actually Anthony Barr who came on there in the end. It was Dion and Lawrence Taylor. Vic, after the fourth down conversion, got to be careful. A little more aggressive nature right here from SC. I, uh, listen to some of that Meek Mill, as Joe was telling us earlier. No thanks. <laughs> but listen, hey, he's got he's got to be able to uh, run the ball well here uh, in a second and third spot. I don't mind a little Meek. I'm good with a little Meek Mill. Yeah. That's what you have on your headphones. It's not Drake. I'm, not, I'm saying I'm, I'm a little bit on the Drake side. Is, is that okay to say? Is that all right? I'm okay. I'm, all right. I'm fine. Second and three. For SC. Ball at the 45. And the lefty high points it to Jimmy Graham. Now we're down at the 34 yard line. Yeah, good play design right there. He had a couple crossers underneath that kept the user under, underneath. That then allowed the pop pass to the streak to Graham in the uh, middle of the field. Big play right there. You can see right there, the user underneath allows the seam streak. Easy conversion. Yeah, Bud Dupree just could not recover in time. First and 10, and he'll hand it to Reese. And he'll get down to the 30-yard line, four-yard gain. You know, that, that's a good point you, you brought up earlier. Not only can Reese be effective as a, as a ball carrier and as a receiving option, he's going to stand up really well in the pass protection game. And that's where you see a lot of the block sheds come is in a weaker halfback. But Reese, a fullback in the tight end body, He's a bit of a monster. Rolling out to his natural left-handed side and a Caffrey. Boy, you don't see him drop it often. Yeah, I know, and I like that he set his feet. He scrambled off the edge right, right here. You can see, sets his feet, delivers the throw, catches it, but then drops it at the last second there. It's a tough break right there for SC. Yeah, Jalen Ramsey just able to get his paws on it. Third and six from the 30. Vic, looking deep, throws it into coverage, and really lucky that Mark Barron didn't pick that off. Yeah, right now, Schema doing a great job at containing Vic, even though when he gets out of the pocket right here, he has another defender spying him. He then 
sends that defender. He tells him, hey, go rush the quarterback. Don't let him scramble. So Scheman doing a great job scheming here against SC by able to control Vic and his ability to scramble outside the pocket. So the field goal's good with 227. Left here in the first, and Dion takes it from the goal line. Oh my, little spin move. Couldn't get away. Don't see that very often, but Deion Sanders is the guy to do it with. So it'll be first down. Oh yeah, a little spin move there on the replay. Really some bad things can happen when you go into the spin cycle. Goes to Lynch, Lynch with a little stutter step, gets out to the 24. Yeah, so now change of pace, run the ball here. Look at the control tempo a little bit more. If you're scheming, he's showing the ability to, to use a lot of different formations. He won his last game in that gun ace twin set. Now he brings it down to a strong eye formation to get more tight ends on the field. Look to play a little more ball control. Might be because he's facing that 3-4 bear from SC. Play action. McNair has some space. He's still running. And gets to the 41-yard line, picks up a first down, a gain of 17. That's what Steve McNair will bring to the table. A lot of mobile quarterbacks in this tournament for good reason. They're out, an extra offensive weapon for your, for your squad. Ball up in 41. They'll hand it to Lynch, a little power O. Two yards, two rushes. Right now, run game, not there. Now he's gonna go back to the, his, his bread and butter formation. He gets in this gun ace twins, he feels like this gives him the best opportunity to, to run a full offensive game plan. He can run the ball well, he can pass short underneath. He also has a lot of deep options uh, to be able to target downfield as well. That was Eric Pinkins on the stop, the 61 overall blonde, a bronze item player. He's played big today for SC. McNair with time, has a man, and it's... Ladarius Green, playmakers himself, up to the 26. Yeah, beautiful playmaker. He points at the receiver, says run up field, and you can see Ladarius Green, all that speed at tight end, stretching the field vertically for Scheman. So Scheman now at the 26, trailing by three. McNair has to get rid of it, has a man wide open. Beautiful. Holy dot. Yeah, beautiful right there. You can see SC, he went to clamp down as we get that replay hopefully as he clamps down uh, on that short drag the short underneath options gives up the deep long corner you'll see it right here watch the user defender see how he got stuck in limbo he left Graham wide open because he thought the underneath pattern was going to be uh, thrown at and it leaves a wide open touchdown for scheme to go up 7-3 beautiful read and now leads by four Dion takes it from the end zone and he'll avoid the hit and go down at the 22. Yeah, and here we go. This game's starting to shape up like our last one. A, a, a good back and forth battle between two great players, two great competitors here. He's scheming right there on the screen on the defensive side of the ball now. Let's go. So 34 seconds to go here in the first. Shotgun formation. Little motion on the right side with Julio Jones. And Vic got to get rid of it. And Lawrence Taylor came in with a big hit. Yeah, and the story in this one so far is the ability to contain Vic once he gets out of the pocket. Watch, you see he sends the defender. You can actually do that by pushing on the right stick on your controller at home. That will send the closest defender in the quarterback's vicinity and send him after the quarterback and not let them scramble outside the pocket. So great job here from Steve. You really can't play defense against a mobile quarterback without that method. And Vic will just throw this one out of bounds. sc has got to be very careful. He's got to be very careful. He's two for eight, 29 yards. He's starting to chuck the pill all over the field. Scheman is an opportunistic player. He will clamp down here, get an interception. And although he completed at about 78% in game number one, not going well here in the semifinals. Uh, the difference is he, he doesn't have the time outside the pocket to, to find an open receiver. Uh, Scheman's just doing a great job at not allowing him to be that to be the strategy that's gonna win him this game. He's gonna have to stay in the pocket to find open receivers to give him time for some of those deep routes that work so well against Poison. So third and 10, 23 seconds to go in the first. We're in semifinal number two of the 49ers Club Series Championship. Winner plays Monsta. And oh my goodness, Lawrence Taylor is absolutely causing havoc. Lawrence Taylor absolutely screamed through that gap right there. It caused an issue, and Vic throws the ball, dunks it right off his lineman's head. 
he got lucky on that one. He was looking for uh, the halfback out of the backfield. A punt, here we go. The unicorn of Madden, the rare fourth and 10 punt. But that's showing respect, showing respect for your, your opponent saying, you know what, I'm gonna have to punt this one away and, and live to fight another day. Yeah, Schemen has a, a very unique style defense. He's feeling themselves right now. He's, he's feeling the vibe and the energy in this game. A uh, very unique defense. He runs different formations that most in the community don't use. That gives a unique look that's really difficult for his opponent to, to understand. Was in the eye, signed to switch the formation. Motion across the strong side. Good and stick. Lynch, oh my, see ya. Marshawn Lynch is gonna take it to the house. In scheming, now is up by 11. Super sticky on that one. Right in the middle of the field, that's the second spin move that we've seen him execute in this game. And right now, scheming looking real tough. And, you know, it, it, you think of how, let's take a look at the replay one more time, though. Marshawn Lynch left, and then bang, Ooh, put the foot in the ground that. and go. See, what had happened was... <laughs> Marshawn Lynch, a couple Skittles on that play. And Dion will fair catch it. And all of a sudden, we haven't seen SC in this situation now, trailing by 11. Yeah, and he's going to go to a different offensive uh, scheme here. Going to go under center, see if he can get things going. You can see the nerves on his face right there. He understands the moment. He understands he's down 14-3, and he is in a box right now from Schemann. Decides to dump it down to Reese on a quick throw. And that's how the first quarter will end. But some fireworks coming in from Schemann. In control, leading by two scores. Yeah, just a nice little play right there out of the backfield. Nice little quick pass that shades a Madden pass right there. Snap throws out of the backfield. So good playbook knowledge right here from SC. Double tied in. Stacking the receivers to the left. And Vic. Nice shot picking up the blitz. Has time. And Hill just cannot get separation from Ramsey, but it's going to be a third and one. Yeah, he's doing a great job protecting the deep options downfield, playing that cover two style defense where you only have two defenders splitting the deep halves part, uh, of the field and protecting deep. All of your other defenders are protecting the short part of the field. Let's go. So third and one, play clock under 10. Vic, great user. And he'll just decide to pick up the first down. Smart play by SC. Yeah, and, uh, he sits back in his chair. And he, he knows he got away with it right there. He slid just before Mike Vick got popped right there. But Mike Vick, again, saves him there and gets another first down. Starting to get the mobility of Vick to be effective for his offense here. First and 10 from the 36. Reese has a blocker. And he leads them to the 47. Reese showing how versatile he is to this offense. He can pass protect, he can catch passes out of the backfield, and right there he gets a inside run, falls Let's forward go. for the first. So first and 10, just shy of midfield. 3.42 to go here in the half, and Reese, a little bit of stick skills of his own. Yeah, I like, the, I like that uh, SC is slowing the tempo down of his offense here. He, he's, you can see he's gone back-to-back -back runs right here, and one man to beat, but doesn't have the speed. Jadavion Clowney catches him from behind. But I like the change of pace. Run the ball a little bit here, slow things down. You need a, a field goal here to make it a one-possession game. Vic in the shotgun. Has time, throws it deep! And knocked away by Jalen Ramsey, who's been there all day for Scheman. Yeah, and uh, what I like from Scheman, what we're seeing on a, on a, not an every down basis, but he's changing up the way he's containing Mike Vick. He's every now and then, he's going to play a four-man rush, contain you, make you stay in the pocket. And then on the flip side, he will then only rush two defenders, drop one guy in the quarterback spy, and once Mike Vick scrambles, he will send the quarterback spy after the quarterback and get him outside the pocket. So second and 10, Vic going to work. Throws it up in the corner to Sean Jackson. Catches one all over Dion. Oh my goodness. Deshaun Jackson just goes Randy Moss style right there. And Dion never jumped. <laughs> right in his face. Disrespectful. First and goal, quick pass, and Edward McCaffrey with a touchdown. 
And all of a sudden, we got ourselves a game. Yeah, and talking to SC before these matchups, he told me when I get down in the red zone, I'm going to the ace pair chief, and I'm throwing a slant out for a touchdown. And guess what he just did? He threw a slant out for a touchdown right here. You see the separation right there, man-to-man -man coverage. He gets the big touchdown. He's right back in this one. Great separation there from Mark Barron, the out of position left outside linebacker. You got to love it when they call the shot. Call your own shot. Oh, it feels good. It feels real good. When you when you get out and you call the play you and you execute it and it works, there's no better feeling in, in the game of man. Both guys locked in, feeling cool, calm, collected. And now Scheman's got to answer here before the half. Leading by four. Caffrey in motion. Here we go. See if they run the ball to the strong side. They will hand it to Lynch. But a nice job on the run defense there by SC. Yeah, and, and Scheman coming back out, and he's now trying to control the line of scrimmage. Both these guys want to dictate the pace of the game, go nice and slow, go conservative, uh, control the clock here. That's, that's important. Two minutes, 32 seconds. If you're scheming, you can end this half right here uh, with ball putting the points up on the scoreboard. That's a big win for your, your squad. Motions Lynch out of the backfield. Empty set for McNair. Gonna try to play maker A, and he'll yeah. get rid of it, and Ladarius Green has nothing but green in front of him. And they'll knock him down at the 13-yard line in a great play. Now that playmaker's been working really well for him so far in this tournament. You can see he scrambles, no other resources to throw anyone open, but Ladarius Green scampers down that left sideline, and that's why he's on this field. He can stretch defense vertically with all that speed. That's where Miles Jack needs to start turning and running. Had his eyes in the backfield. And Lynch goes nowhere, second and 10. But you're okay with that. You, you, you maybe want to use some clock down here in the red zone. Yeah, you want to use the clock up here. If you're SC, you maybe start thinking some timeouts here uh, to conserve some time to get the, a drive of your own here at the end of the half. But uh, you know, watch out for Julio Jones here. Bunch formation to the right. They move McCaffrey. Here's the heat. Able to get rid of it. See if he goes right back to that. I think he liked the, the play he had here. Too much pressure. Didn't have enough time for a route to develop to get open. So we'll back to it one more time. Third and 10, 90 seconds to go. And Jimmy Graham can't hold on. Odell Beckham Jr. on the coverage. Oh, yeah. Out of position. Yeah, we are playing Madden Ultimate Team, salary cap. You get guys all over the field, wherever you want them. And just like that, now it goes up a full score in this one. But SC, he's got two timeouts. Buck 26 on the clock here in the second quarter. Plenty of time to put together a scoring drive. That's what we talk about. You got to be very careful. You know, you're trying to get back into the game, but you don't want to turn it over and open the door for scheme and to happily blow you out of here. That's what, in these situations, that's what happens sometimes to a game that's really close. Uh, when you mismanage end of half situations, end of fourth quarter spots, the best players always perform in these spots. So let's see, I see this is a chance. You said you, you think you can win this tournament? Put together a perfectly executed drive right here, get seven. Trips to the left, hands it off underneath the Reese. And he'll pick up three, and he'll decide to use a timeout. Can't take the timeouts with you. Got to use them when you got to use them. I think on the other side of here is they're thinking, you know what? I might be able to get the ball back if you're scheming. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's absolutely what you got to do. If you can get the ball back and go for some extra points here, it's all gravy here in the second half. And Deshaun Jackson takes it to the crib. And we had high fives in the crowd right there from Tori and his girlfriend. Certainly likes that. Another big play right there. Now tie ball game. Just like that, you can see big time play down that sideline. Deshaun Jackson, big touchdown. Get it right back in this one. Tie ball game, 17-17. So knotted up here with 67 seconds to go. It's 
So here we go, ball on the 25. You got to drive your own here for Schema now to come back here in this one. Going back and forth here, Scott. This is all we could ask for. So first and 10 from the 25, 67 seconds to go in the half. That's Oprah out of the backfield. You don't see him very often. He was carrying the ball like a loaf of bread right there. And now the closing minutes, closing seconds here of this first half tie ball game. You have the number two seed in this tournament scheming on the offensive side of the ball going up against SC who wanted to make a name for himself in this tournament, comes from San Antonio, Texas. He fails the reason why he can win this tournament, one word, one word only, confidence. He's got the confidence to win. He showed it in the quarterfinals. He's in a tight one here with 33 seconds to go in the half, third and three and coming for Scheman. A big spot, listen, if you're not careful here, you know, the fourth down, you could get points back, right? I mean, you got, both your opponents have all their uh, two timeouts each. Got to manage these spots correctly. Shotgun formation, double tight end. Receivers to the left here on third and three. Air McNair empties out the backfield. Has time. And he'll come, a little comeback route. McCaffrey had run deep and he comes back. Heads up play by McCaffrey. That's why you go out and get that McCaffrey on your field. He, he's going to play maker himself back towards the middle of the field. That's a fantastic uh, route running on the open field. That's a new addition to Madden 17, actually. Scramble drill, you, you can call that, right? When you get out in the uh, open field, the receivers will then try and abandon the route and try to get open uh, for your quarterback, as you saw right there from Ed McCaffrey. Huge play, 21 seconds to go. Does have a timeout. Needs about nine yards to be in field goal range. McNair finds Jimmy Graham and a big touchdown before the half. Heartbreak City right there. That's a big time play. Stretching the defense vertically, splitting the safeties down the middle of the field. And that's a lot of points that we just saw in the closing two minutes of the game. Right here, take a look. You run two vertical patterns down the field. The safeties get split completely. And then Jimmy Graham wide open for the touchdown. And then a little whip and nay nay right there in the end zone. And the smart thing is he threw it to the inside of the field. Yep. So Dion for SC brings it to the 31. Now he's got two timeouts. Enough yep. time to do some damage here. Getting a field goal range here, eating his shirt a little bit. Might be hungry. He hasn't been in this situation yet in the quarterfinals. Under 10 to go. Throws it deep. Hill is there. And oh my goodness, it is Bananaville here in Santa Clara, California. And Skeeman doesn't, he's literally doing the thing where he's like, what is going on? Looking at his eyes moving left to right, up and down. He doesn't understand what just happened, but I'll tell you what, it's Tyreek Hill, it's 95 speed is what just happened right there, burning downfield. Get out, let's he's go, He's going kid. for two. Let's go, throw your twos up. Watch Ed McCaffrey here. He's that confident being in the red zone. So he'll go for two, and he high points it to Jimmy Graham, and he cannot hold on. Hey. Do you like the call? I love the call. He knows he, he needs to prove that he can win here. And then here he goes right now, Michael Vick. This, this is the throw. And you know what? Part of it is Vick. Part of the ability, he's got that Brett Favre trait that you say. He the can get the ball out quick. Yeah. Uh, Vick is, is what kind of makes some of those deep passing plays work so effectively there. Got to love the way these guys are battling back and forth here in this matchup. And although I do love Sean Taylor and I love Jalen Ramsey. They're not hanging with him. No. No, too much speed. There's not some, those guys aren't the speedsters on the back end. Well, I think we're going to halftime. I'm not sure. They'll hand it off to Lynch. And oh. Lynch makes a juke, but only gets out to the 44-yard line. And I'm telling you what, Gibbs, these two guys are putting on a show. They are putting on a performance for us here. Let's get into the second half. Unbelievable first half right there. A lot of jukes, a lot of spins, a lot of stick work from Scheman. And then SC bounces back, makes big plays of his own there in that first half. And Dion will take it to the 24-yard line. 
Skeeman has the lead and he has the ball. Yeah, and, and you know, Skeeman, for a guy that is feeling confident of getting into the championship series, he's got to perform well here. He's going to be going to a Las Vegas tournament coming up uh, that will also have series points. Uh, and he's also going to be playing the Mad Challenge at the end of this month in Burbank, California. Uh, he feels as though that since the last time we saw him on a big stage, he has learned a lot about himself, a lot about how he has played competitively. He feels like he's more composed. He understands the moment. He doesn't get taken in by the big stage, the lights, the crowd, the fans. Uh, and he feels like this is his opportunity to show the world that he's the best. Well, he gained over 300 yards of offense in the first half, which is absolutely insane. And this time he carries it out to the 31, third and three. Yeah, eight rushes for 99 yards on the ground. That's not bad either for Marshawn Lynch. Let's say that's a good, it, I say the run game's working for you at that point. So a big third and three here to start the half. McNair. Good heat. And he's able to check it down to Lynch, and Lynch will pick up the first down, but you're right, it was screaming up the middle. Yeah, screaming right in the middle. That's kind of delayed pressure, but we then had a delayed route out of the backfield uh, that was easy pickings for him to get the first down as we continue on here in this second half. So first and 10. It, it really feels like they're still kind of feeling each other out, right? I mean, oh yeah. I haven't really seen the adjustment yet to recognize, okay, he's doing this, he's doing that, I'm gonna take it away now. High snap. And that throws off the timing as Lynch was looking to go over 100 yards, but he'll end up losing two. Yeah, and the story of this game is who's going to make that first big play? Who's going to make the adjustment? We're going to see as these, this game unfolds here, who recognizes a certain set every time he motions this guy over here to the right? He's going to throw down to the left sideline, right sideline. Who makes the big play here in the second half? Julio on the right, play action. Gives it to Lynch. Lynch gets away from one, but cannot get away from Miles Jack the former UCLA Bruin. Yeah, and speaking of, uh, of big plays, and then you start looking not only just in terms of the strategy and the scheme of the two players on the sticks, but what player on the field, what legend, what current NFL star, is it Jimmy Graham, is it uh, Ladarius Green, who's gonna step up to make the big play on both sides of the ball for these guys? NFL star, Ladarius Green, you, you, you're throwing <laughs> that out there. Well, he, he's been that way today, and there's another unsung hero as he picks up no, he's going to be just short. Fourth and one right here, big situation. So this is one of those big plays now in the second half. How does SC uh, adjust here? Does, is Scheman going to go to the run? Is he going to go to the pass? I mean, the run game has been working really well for him here. Does he look to run the ball with Lynch to get the first down? Ball is square at the 50, fourth and one. Motion. Play action, he'll go to the Beautiful. air. Quick throw to Julio. And that will move the sticks. And I'll tell you what, right there, we had a one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside with all the uh, players that he, uh, SC was bringing, and it just a beautiful run, uh, route right there by Jones for the easy go. first down. So ball at the 33, new set of downs. And Marshawn Lynch runs into the wall. Yeah, and listen, it, he's, he's gained a lot of yards in this game, but so far in this drive, SC has really been able to contain Lynch on the ground. Well, that's why you love a Marshawn Lynch. It looks like he goes nowhere, and he falls forward for three. So second and seven from the 30. McNair looking to the end zone. Sides are gonna grab, and Graham says, get off of me. Straight stiff arm to the face right there. Jimmy Graham, and right there we said, current NFL stars, who's gonna step up and make a play right there? Jimmy Graham with just a ferocious stiff arm. Throwing his man down right here. You can see roll out left, find Jimmy Graham. Stiff arm to the face. Get off me, you little fly. And then touchdown, Jimmy Graham. That was Cooper back there. We got a big stiff arm from Jimmy Graham, and that leads to a score. And now, since SC went for two, he now trails by eight. Yeah, now he's going to have to go for two if he is uh, able to get back in the end zone here. Big Marcus Cooper up. is a 91 elite season star item. But Jimmy Graham showed him the stiff arm. And now Reese, he gets loose out to the 38. Marcel Reese playing real well right now for, for SC. He, he's calling run plays in the right spot. He's getting the ball to him in the right spot. Five rushes for 52 yards. Very good average right now for Reese. First and 10. Michael Vick's going to change the formation. He'll bunch it to the right. Deshaun Jackson is solo left, and he'll run it. Good inside zone to Reese. 
Super sticky right there. He cuts left, cuts back inside, weaves in between defenders. Marcel Reese looking good. The SC squad. I tell you what, when I get back to the hotel, <laughs> getting on the auction house, if, if there's a Reese available. Picking them all up. Picking them all I'm gonna, up. I'm going to own the Reese market. So 62 seconds to go here in the third. That signature item has been absolutely fantastic today for SC. Vic, and he'll just throw it away, second and 10. Yeah, right now you can see Vic, eight for 17, three touchdowns in this game. So, you know, he, tough going in the first half, but now in the second half, he's been able to put some drives together. Still no turnovers, which is, which is good to see. So SC, good command of Vic right now in this second half. So scheming from Los Angeles, California. SC from San Antonio, Texas. Let's go! And he finds himself trailing by eight. Vic, rolling left. There you go, Mike Vic. And he'll slide under Anthony Barr and Lawrence Taylor. And I don't know if you guys saw that there, but both players in those cameras had matching animations at the end of that play. They just both went back in their seat, rubbed their palms on their hands. <laughs> It's getting that time of the game where the sweat starts adding up. Right, right, right. Got to make the big plays in the big moments. Third and five, and that's why you bring And he's control. eating his shirt again. Every time he eats his shirt, good things happen. See? And he has Jimmy Graham, and he can't hold on. Not Another see. Gibbs theory completely <laughs> ruined. Nazi, but listen, every time he goes through it, you know it's a big spot. Jimmy Graham wide open in the middle of the field. Once the big hit comes in, he drops it. Fourth and five. You got to go for it here on the 39. It would be a 55-yarder from there. But we don't need no stinking field goals. And McCaffrey can't hold on. We'll have a turnover on downs. And Scheme was going to have an opportunity to maybe close this thing out with a score. Yeah, he went to the quick corner pattern, but you're going to have to get that route in there. Go for like a rack catch on that, but he had to go for aggressive. And that was. That was a red zone play that he scored his touchdown on earlier to McCaffrey. And Lynch running hard off the right side. He'll pick up three. And that'll be the final play, I assume. Yeah, it'll be the final play of the quarter. And Scheman is feeling it. Yeah, and, and the last time we saw Scheman, we said earlier, it's, uh, we saw him on the, uh, the big stage at EA Play, the Madden 16 championship. Uh, he got all the way uh, uh, to that tournament, competing to be crowned the champion of Madden 16. Uh, he went home early in that tournament. He didn't win it, but he said, he, again, he learned a lot from it. Uh, I think a lot of those things are going on in his mind here today. How do I get back to that stage? It starts here today. He wins this tournament, move on, try to get on to Burbank for April 15th. Tax day. Tax day. You do your taxes yet? I'm working on it. Don't, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it throws it into coverage. And so third and seven at the 42. This is a huge defensive play coming up for He's SC. Right He's He's right Shotgun right formation, right double tight end. McNair. Got to get rid of it. He will. Oh, just through the hands of Jones. Just out of the fingertips. Right through the basket right there, right through the hands. That's a tough one. You're going to see the replay here. Snap, play action, find an open receiver in the middle of the field, right through. Try to hands. switch to the possession catch. You oh. saw that. It was calling for a rack. He went to the possession catch and could not haul it in. Fourth and seven, he'll go for it. Up under center is Aaron McNair. Quick pass, and there is Ladarius Green. And why not? He hey. carries him down to the 28. Told you he was a star. Look at that man. He's just He's all a beast. over the field. Yeah. One more time. Pressure off that left edge. You can see SC felt like he had his user defender in the area of the field to get an interception there, but doesn't come away. But you gotta, gotta stay focused here. 430 remaining this game. First and 10 at the 28-yard line. Winner will play Monster in the finals. See who will take home the $3,500 and move on to Burbank. And Marshawn Lynch, over 100 yards now, but that time he went nowhere. And this is where you, you bring out the, the big boy pants, you, you bring the big bodies on the field, start running the ball, milk some clock here, kick a field goal, go up two scores, try to get out of here with the W. What's your take on Skittles? Are you a Skittles guy? I'm not, no. Sour Skittles? 
Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids, Kids maybe? Oh, Sour okay. Patch Kids going to the movie, old school, like 10 years old. Just taking notes over Sour here. Patch Kids. Taking notes over here, what 10-year-old Gibbs would have loved. <laughs> Sour Patch Kids. Second and 10 from the 28. McNair goes to work. Has a man separation! And Graham hauls it in at the six. Beautiful play right there. Put just enough touch pass on that. You can see he rolls out of the pocket, throws on the run. That's what McNair is known for. Delivers the dime. And DRC has incredible man coverage skills. But that time gave way to the taller Jimmy Graham. Strong formation. Lynch is in the back. Boy, showing a lot of looks here. We'll go to Lynch. And he'll pick up a yard. Yeah, this, he's really executing this uh, this last drive here really well. Eating up a lot of clock on this possession, uh, making it gonna make it very difficult for SC to get back in this one. Watch out for, you know, fumble. Watch out for the big hit stick here, though. When you keep the ball on the ground, you open yourself up to do a turnover on the, on the ground. And he can take this thing down to about two. 35 or so. And we might see another running play just to keep moving that clock. Use a timeout interesting there, thing, yeah. Scheman will use a timeout. Maybe didn't like the play came out in. Yeah, you know, it, he used that quarterback run potentially on the, on the previous game to success, but let's we'll see what he goes to maybe run inside that Lynch. Dual tight ends now. Wide right receivers off to the left. He'll audible once again. Plenty of time on the play clock. Here we go, Ohio. Ohio. Why not? Let's audible a third time. The more you audible, the more success you have. Second and goal from the five. And he'll run it with McNair. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown, Scheman. We showed he could do that with Aaron McNair in, in the quarterfinals, and he does it here in the semis. So far in this tournament, he's run the ball on a design play to Steve McNair for two touchdowns. As you can see here, he gives the ball to his big quarterback. He's got 87 speed. Look at Why that blocking. Not? Why not? Give the fat boy some credit there. Clearing the way for Aaron McNair. And now it's a 15 point game <laughs> with Superman. 2.33 to go. There you go, ball to 23. 2.33 remaining. You're down 15, you need to Quick touchdown here if you're SC. In the semis here, live from Levi Stadium, the home of the San Francisco 49ers. And boy, SC is gonna need a score here and probably a quick one. Still has three timeouts. First and 10 from the 23. Good start. Oh, Jimmy Graham drops it again. And it's the second time we've seen Jimmy Graham let him down in that spot right there. Quick pop pass over the middle of the field. Jimmy Graham, once he gets contact with that safety, he's been dropping the ball here for SC. That's that look where you're like, I cannot believe Gotta stay he focused, dropped though. it once again. Watch Ed McCaffrey here down that left sideline. 2.30 to go, second down. Vic. And finds Hill. The speed. And Hill's got space, and he could be gone, but gets wrapped up. I think that was Lawrence Taylor coming all the way back to make the stop. For a second there, I thought Hill might break free. Yeah, take a look at the separation right here. That 95 speed really paid it was dividends Barr. there on that speed. It was Anthony Barr that caught him from behind. And so now 2.05, ball at the 39. You would like to get a score before the two minute warning, but that's not possible anymore. Not right now. You're gonna have to get one and done to get in the end zone at this spot. But I see mulling it over here. Trailing by 15. Coverage. Vic rolls out. Checks it down to Paulson. Got a great head of hair, by the way. Good looking lettuce. Good looking lettuce on Paulson. Force him out of bounds. It would be third and two from the 20. Yeah, a quick drag underneath again. You saw that the scramble outside the pocket. Then uh, Steven sent the, the quarterback, uh, the defender after the quarterback. One more time. Another drop. So fourth and two from the 30 yard line. 10 yards away from the red zone. A lot of drops so far in this second half here for SC. All coming in the, the big crucial parts of this game, unfortunately, for him. Big fourth down. 
as they would say, he needs it. And Scheman will use a timeout knowing a stop here could mean the game. Yeah, you know, get your defense right, get your defense in order. If anyone's tired, give them a timeout, get their fatigue back up, right? Let's let's not uh, take any risks here if you're scheming. Good and here's out. a mistake they make on defense sometimes. You're trying to stop the two yards, and you end up giving up the touchdown. I mean, it's classic. It really is. You, you got to protect everything short, and then you forget about protecting anything deep. Vic threw it into coverage. Maybe could have ran for the first down, and Scheman will have the ball back with 1.51 to go. Yeah, defensively, Scheman has been playing absolutely lights out this week. You can see he sent pressure right, forces the rollout. You're right, Vic had a lot of green grass to run and scramble for a first down. Goes to the air, Jimmy Graham will move the chains, ball to 46, and that clock is tick, tick ticking away. Yeah, and all you need to do now here if you're scheming, get a first down. He's, SC's got all three of his timeouts, but doesn't look like he's gonna use them here. Well, he might on this possession here, after that first down. And I think this is where you gotta start burning those TOs after this first down. And I put my trust in number 24 back there. <laughs> do what Pete Carroll could never do, hand it off to Lynch Give and the ball close to it out. <laughs> Give the ball to Lynch in the closing second of the game. <laughs> You're okay with that, though. I'm okay You're with okay it. You're okay with that. I'll take it if I can. Dirty Patriots fan. <laughs> One fifteen to go, world champions, etc. Six times. Ball now at the 47. SC needs something to happen here. A fumble needs a little mad magic. Play action. He'll put it to the air, and oh my, wide open is Julio Jones. And that is the play that will do it. That will put this one away completely in this, this matchup here. Steven looking extremely tough. I mean, he, he, listen, talking in the game, there was a different aura about him from everyone else in this tournament. The command and the knowledge that he possessed about what he wanted to do here today, uh, his understanding of, of the situation in the moment, he just seemed so prepared. Uh, and I can't wait to see this matchup. We, we talked about it at the top of the show. We said, uh, we're on a collision course for the yeah. one, two seed, and we're gonna get it. Well, if you're sitting in the audience right now, and you're Monster, what are you thinking when you're seeing because Monsta had a lot of respect for SC as well, so. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be curious, because I know Monsta loves the, the quick play action, pop passes, streaks over the middle of the field. He loves throwing the quick uh, slants, quick drags. You know, Scheman doesn't really send a ton of blitzers on every down. Uh, so I, I'll, I'll be curious to see if he, if he sticks to that or if he goes to a more run-oriented offense, try to catch him in coverage defense, run the ball a little bit more. But uh, it'll be a really great matchup between our one seed in Monsta and two seed in Scheman. And, and this really kind of comes back to, it's a 109 salary cap to have a Michael Vick. He either has to have an amazing game, which he did in game one, and game two, maybe you don't have the firepower on defense or offense. Yeah, and, and well, you know, we saw uh, uh, some of his defensive players, right? The Eric Pinkins, the Mark Barons of the world. You have guys like that on your squad, opposed to having Anthony Bars or, or uh, a Sean Taylor in the deep secondary. By taking Vic on your squad, you leave holes in you, the rest of your team. And he's got Marcus Golden, Jordan Williams, Eric Pinkins. Those are not household names. No, they're not. In the Madden community, they are. <laughs> and that'll do it. So the finals is set up. It's going to be Monsta and Schemen to see who can be crowned the 49ers club champion. Of course, get the opportunity to go down to Burbank on April 15th and play the the rest of the club series champions. And you're representing a fine team like the 49ers. There's a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, there certainly is. But what's at stake here for these guys right now? $3,500 to first place. They're going to get the big check. It's going to be a big opportunity for these guys. Yeah, these guys already got some sweet swag that I'm already jealous of. And I'll tell you what, the scheming just came out, and uh, it was a close one. It would have been tied at 24. He went for two, SC did, and then since then, Scheman just rolled him on out. Yeah, and that was the momentum change, right? He went for two, he didn't get it, and then from there, he just never really got back in rhythm into the game. Well, my man Joe Fan standing by with a winner. Yeah, in a matchup of two guys powered by hip-hop, it's Scheman that ends the game on a 21-0 run, 45-23 the final. 
What adjustments did you make defensively to go on such a run to close the game? Uh, like I said, the game, the first game, I just stuck to you know my my game plan. Um, he had got a pass that I kind of thought shouldn't have got through, and it landed him on a three, so he got in on that one. Um, and then I just stuck with it, just made sure I keyed in on what I was where I was supposed to be on my user, and made sure I had everything covered. Jimmy Graham had three touchdowns. See the key to your offense, would you say? Yeah, um, I try to make you not man him up. If you don't man him up, you're in trouble. And then it's Marshawn Lynch, another long touchdown run. So is that? A balance of picking the right play at the right time. Obviously, a nice user spin to get into the end zone. But how much does timing play a factor in the running game? Uh, I mean, it's, it's important. You keep your, I like to be balanced. I don't want my, you know, my opponents to you just know I'm passing every down. So, uh, you know, I run it here and there. And then, um, especially when I feel good and I want to hand it off, you know, if I get in the second level, I'm going to try to make something happen. Best of luck in the final. Appreciate that. Scheming. Going up against Monster, the top two seeds. The final's coming up.